Hey everyone, Dawn here with Dawn's question of the day, guys. Today is Monday, February 26, 2018. Guys, we've got a brand new week of questions and I'm excited about them. So we'll get right into today's question, which was, how close do you stand behind the person in front of you? How many feet do you stand behind the person in front of you in a line full of people? Uh, and then you had your choices of A, one to two feet, you had B, three to four feet, and you had C, as far away from that person as possible, the one that's in front of you. So uh, guys, we'll get right into your results. Uh, a had 47% of you, you said one to two feet. Uh, B had 32% of you, three to four feet, and C, so you guys said, I want to be as far away as possible from the person that is in front of me. Some interesting things about today's question. Uh, a lot of you mentioned, well, if the person behind me is like breathing down my neck, you know, I'm going to be like going forward as much as I can, but not too much forward because then I'll run into the person in front of me and... Yeah, that's not going to be good either. A lot of you said, mentioned the flu season this this uh, <laughs> this winter and not being not wanting to be around people uh, because people are sneezing and blowing their nose and coughing and ugh, you just we don't want that, right? <laughs> so a lot of you mentioned that uh, as well. Um, really, one to two feet is probably the average of most. People, I mean, you think about it, one to two feet. That's 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 a lot. That's a lot of distance. Uh, and then three to four feet might be kind of funny if, if you saw that in a line. Uh, I've worked at businesses where people you had a long hallway uh, from the counter to the door, and people would wait, you know, five or six feet sometimes. Uh, it was just kind of funny. And then you got those lines that stop at like the rope, and then you have to come to the counter. Uh, and you got the zigzag like in airports and stuff so uh, there's a lot of different scenarios so I try to go with I try to tell people go with your first instinct so whatever uh, if you're answering the question whatever pops in your mind first go with that if you can't really think of well I don't know you know what which way should I go with this so that's a good way to to put it uh, a lot of psychologists will tell you hey go with your first instinct uh, instinct on, on something so uh, so there you go guys <laughs> I don't know as far away as possible that's <laughs> that's me but I have to go with three to four feet realistically if, if at all possible some lines like in airports you're neck to neck and it's not a comfortable situation so enough of this claustrophobic talk guys so we'll go with the top three cities uh, in the United States uh, that have the longest and most crowded lines uh, that would be number three would be Chicago uh, number two would be San Francisco and the number one city that has the longest most crowded lines can you guess it New York City so there you guys go a little little trivia for you guys and that's from workspace.com so all right, guys, so there's your results for today. If you like what I'm doing with Don's question of the day, we got four more questions this week. Happy to give them to you Monday through Friday at 7 a.m. Uh, Central Standard Time. Get your answers in on Facebook and then see these result uh, videos on YouTube, hashtag DQOTD for both Facebook and YouTube, guys. Appreciate it so much. Appreciate you and all your answers. And we will see you guys tomorrow with the second question of the week guys appreciate it so much tell your friends and family share this video like subscribe peace guys